Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to turn a fraction or mixed number into a simplest form. Now, oftentimes when it comes to a fraction in simplest form, we're talking about reduced form, and mixed number is uh, up for f flexibility depending on what you're looking for. So here's an illustration on fractions first before we turn our attention to mixed numbers. Now, if you have a fraction, such as 2 fourths, turning it into simplest form means can you reduce it? Now, 2 and the 4, you can tell they both have a factor of 2 in common, so you divide both sides by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1, 4 divided by 2 is 2. Both of these fractions, they don't really have any factors in common, so that's why you leave the numbers as they are. So the fractions themselves are in reduced form. If you have a mixed number, if you have 3 and 4 eighths, for example, you can reduce first, if possible, but you leave the whole number alone. So 4 eighths reduces also to 1 half. So 3 and 4 eighths can be thought of as 3 and 1 half. But oftentimes, if you want to convert to an improper fraction, you can do that as well with the mixed number. And just to keep in mind, you, you take the denominator, you multiply by the whole number, and then you add by the numerator. So 2 times 3 is 6, add the 1 is 7, so 3 and a 1 half is 7 halves. So depending on what it is that your final answer should be expressed as, you can either reduce the fractions when appropriate, or in a mixed number, you can also convert it to an improper fraction. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief introduction on how to reduce fractions and mixed numbers in its simplest form.